how to turn any pet into a shadow dragon in Adopt Me. The new hair salon update allows players to change the color of their pets. Today's goal is to create a shadow dragon on a budget. The shadow dragon is seen to be the rarest pet inside of Adopt Me. So if we can go and recreate a pet that looks like this, we can make anybody look rich. We're gonna start small and gradually make our way into the shadow. Starting off with how to make a blue dog. A blue dog is an uncommon pet, one of the first ever pets to come into the game. As you can see, it's just a dog that's blue. So let's go and make our own. Step one, you need to now become a hairstylist inside of the salon. Go up to this section that says grab the colored spray and go and grab the blue. Then what you need to do is go and get your spray can and go and start spraying your pet. And just like that, we now have a blue dog. This one is basically identical to the blue dog that's already in the game, but slightly a different color. Now we're gonna go and create a pink cat. One of the first pets to come into the game, and you went and get this cat from a pink egg. To do so is pretty simple, just go and grab the color pink that you like. Let's test this out on my cat called Candy, which is actually my star code, so be sure to go and use star code Candy when buying Robux. And just like that, we now have a neon pink cat which to be fair, looks pretty identical to the actual neon pink cat. Up next, we're gonna try and make a normal regular monkey into one of the rarest monkeys in the game, such as this one. I'm joking. We're gonna be trying to go and recreate the albino monkey in Adopt Me. Possibly one of my most favorite pets in the game because it's an all over neon. I mean, if you want, you can make the albino monkey into a regular monkey. To make the monkey look like an albino one, simply get the white spray paint and just spray the body white, just like so. Then you keep the rest the same. And just like that, we have a pet that literally looks identical to an albino monkey in Adopt Me. So all of those boring regular monkeys that you probably have kept hold of now have a purpose and you can go and flex on someone that you have a cool monkey. This is a zombie buffalo. And this is Bob, a regular buffalo. Let's go and grab ourselves some green. And our goal is to spray paint the base and just the head. So let's see if that works. And just like so, we now have a lovely zombie buffalo. These things are actually pretty similar. Apart from this one's teeth, which could possibly go and give you nightmares. This is a lavender dragon, a pretty difficult pet to go and get, which you only got if you had a boombox game pass before they went and removed it. Say you really like the style of the lavender dragon and you weren't able to go and grab one, well, let's go and recreate it. We need to go and grab a spray paint of white and go and spray that color first. As you can see, now this section is white. Now we need to go and grab a pinkish tone, so either this one or this one. Go back on over and start spraying again. By going and doing so, it now has dyed the base chest and also the wings, and we now have our own lavender dragon. These techniques are actually really awesome and work pretty well. Like, I could trick someone into thinking that this is an actual Mega Neon Lavender Dragon, and they'd have absolutely no idea. Up next, we're gonna try and recreate the Arctic Reindeer, a legendary all-white reindeer pet. All I'm gonna do is get a regular reindeer and go and grab the white spray paint and just spray its body just like so, and wait till it sprays again to go and get rid of those little toes. Just keep on spraying, and ta-da, we now have an arctic reindeer. This thing is kind of insane that you can go and create a pet that literally looks identical to the other with just a bit of spray paint. Like, this thing is basically identical to that, like you wouldn't have been able to tell the difference, guys. Don't worry, we'll get onto the shadow dragon, but up next is we're gonna be making the evil unicorn. Simply go and grab a regular unicorn, and go and grab the color black and also the color red. We start off with the base coat of black. Then we go and grab our red and just keep on spraying this thing just like that. It will slowly go and coat all of these sections. Even though that this is a neon, 
you can't really tell. Now this thing looks pretty identical to an evil unicorn. The only difference I guess is the eyeballs. There's no way to go and individually dye the eyeballs or make those glow neon. But if you really wanted an evil unicorn and you don't know how to trade for one, then you're in luck. Before we make the shadow dragon, my goal is to collect one of every single pet inside of Adopt Me and every single egg. So far, I have pretty much every single pet apart from these six items. And that's right, one of them is a blue egg. So let's go and create the final items that I need to go and complete the journal. We're gonna start off with the Zodiac minion egg and place it here and go and grab the famous blue. That's right, all you gotta do is grab your egg and spray paint that thing blue. Will this count in my journal as a collected one? I don't think so, imagine if it did. Yeah, I still need the blue egg. This thing looks identical to it. I just, it just isn't the same, you know? Because if I was to hatch this, I'd get a Zodiac minion. But if I hatch this egg, then I'll get an owl. I'm joking. Uh, if this gave me an owl, I would have cried. This right here is an egg, but you used to be able to rename them. So uh, back in the day when uh, they allowed you to rename eggs, I guess I called it owl. I don't know why, but I did. So now I have an egg, which I can change its color, and it's called owl. So there's actually going to be multiple ways we're going to try and make a shadow dragon today. We're gonna go and grab this black for the base and this color for the second tone. You always start off the base color that you want it to be. Since it's a shadow dragon, we want it to go and be like this. We'll then go and grab a gray and spray the next color, which will then go and spray the additional color items. Just like so, we now have those as gray. If we spray it again, this now becomes gray. Then for the final touches, we're gonna go and spray black again and it should go and dye the horns black. If we spray it again, it actually goes and dyes the teeth black. And I'm not sure what happens if we spray it one more time, it might go and change something else. But if not, we now have something that looks actually kind of like a shadow dragon for an extremely cheap budget. Like this thing is 1 million times easier to get than a shadow dragon. And to be fair, isn't even a bad look. If we go and grab that and then we go and put the shadow dragon I know they're not identical. Let's test this technique out on a frost dragon. If you have a frost dragon, I know they're still really rare, but shadows are like 10 times harder. So let's go and spray paint the base of this thing as black. And hopefully this will make it look like a shadow dragon. So we're gonna go black and then we're gonna go for gray, which should do the belly and the wing. Then we're gonna go and grab the black again and keep spraying and hope that it goes and gets all the additional areas. And ta-da, this thing uh, pretty much looks like a shadow dragon now. If we're to do a side-by-side -side comparison, let's do it now. It's not actually that bad, let's be real. That's a pretty good replica of a shadow dragon if you guys don't have one and you've always wanted one you can now go and recreate basically a shadow dragon if you have a frost dragon. There's tons of other pet variations that you can go and design for yourself. And I'm sure you guys are going to come out with some of the most insane pet ideas down below. So leave a comment saying what your favorite pet concept is that you can go and change the colors for and adopt me. Just for fun, let's go and turn our shadow dragon into a frost dragon to see what looks better, the frost as a shadow or a shadow as a frost. That's what the ghost dragon should have been. This is 100% what the ghost dragon should have been compared to the ghost dragon we actually got, which, hey, it's still a somewhat cool pet, but just in comparison for like the details wise, this, this would have been way more cool. I also live stream at 3.45 p.m. UK time every single week. You can sign up on the app Pop Jam. Click this video here if you want to learn how to go and earn some Robux.